are these people? JP, but Zimbabwe bans lithium exports. They want batteries made in their own country where the lithium is. So are we going to be seeing Elon Musk crying anytime soon? Because billionaire tears are delicious, I heard. They're a delicacy. <laughs> Most likely. Um, so this is from News Desk. So uh, Zimbabwe says develop batteries for electric vehicles here as it bans the export of raw lithium. Right? Ooh. So um, Zimbabwe earlier this week stopped the export of raw lithium from its mines and said that it wants cash. Um, in on the value ad addition and also stop losing billions to foreign companies via, uh, via mineral proceeds, news agencies reported. On December 20th, Zimbabwe's Ministry of Mines and Mining Development, in a directive published under the nation's Base Mineral Exports Control Act, said that the move was made to ensure that the visions of the president to see the country becoming an upper middle class economy, uh, income economy has been realized. Winston Chintando, following the export ban, said no lithium bearing ores or unbeneficiated lithium whatsoever shall be exported from Zimbabwe to another country except under the written permission of the minister. The directive excludes mining companies which build processing plants. Deputy Mining Minister Polite Kambamora said he told courts that if Zimbabwe continues to export raw lithium, then it shall go nowhere. Thoughts. This is interesting. I expect there to be a coup in Zimbabwe by the CIA <laughs> in, say about six months. Six months, you <laughs> say, huh? Yeah, oh. Reeve, and what say you? I mean, six months of six months. Yeah, next thing you know, I mean, it's what are we be doing? Some civil war I mean, in Zimbabwe. Price is right I mean, rules. I'll I'll vote a dollar. Uh, <laughs> but at the time the six exists. Yes. Yep. So have we <laughs> talked about maybe about a month ago now? We don't mm. know for sure how many they have on the continent. So we interestingly enough given the, no, there are forty but four. Yeah, uh, we only know of like forty of them, right? And like when people yeah. started asking questions, they go, I, I don't know. Um, we right. got, we got bases or near some folks. I don't know. Um, so according to Reuters, Chinese mining giant and lithium ion battery material manufacturers, Zhang, Zhe, uh, Zhejiang, Huayu Cobalt, Cinnamine Research Group, and Jingzhen Lithium Group acquired several lithium mines and have bagged projects worth um, bagged projects worth a combined 678 million in Zimbabwe and are at various stages of developing mines and processing plants. These companies are exempted from the bans, which is an interesting part of that. So China is, is gonna be fine. They're gonna be all right here. Yeah. So we wanna see lithium batteries being developed in the country. We have done this in good faith for the growth of the industry. Kambambora was quoted as saying by courts, the Zimbabwean government claims that it lost $1.8 in mineral revenues due to smuggling and externalization to South Africa and the UAE. Gold and lithium are among the most smuggled uh, minerals, with gold being the most smuggled. Zimbabwe is on track to become one of the world's largest lithium exporters, and the government expects that it will meet 20% of the world's total demand for lithium when it fully exploits all known lithium resources. At least 60% of Zimbabwe's exports are mostly minerals, and the mining sector makes up to 60% of its GDP. The London School of Economic Data from 2021, accessed by news outlet Quartz, shows Zimbabwe is currently facing tons of debt. Um, President Emerson Manangagwa said the ban targets hordes of artisanal miners who, after being attracted to the high demand of lithium, started capturing abandoned mines to dig for lithium bearing rocks. Lithium is the new gold. As the world shifts to clean energy, right, especially in electric vehicles, um, lithium ion batteries will dominate the industry. The demand for lithium has increased, and compared to 2021, its price has soared more than 180%. African nation lost 12 billion through illegal trade involving multinational companies from richer nations. These funds were more than enough to clear Harar's foreign debt of 13.7 billion. Western companies have been involved in corruption and have exploited Africa's lithium mines. In the Arcadia lithium mine, located 308 
kilometers south of the capital Harar is developed, then the annual production will reach 2.5 million tons, bringing in 3 billion in exports. Hmm. So, interesting little move by Zimbabwe. Um, interesting that they're excluding China from this um, as well. That might help With not be cooed. I, I would think. Right, but, he, but again, as I say, you know, and again, I don't want to. Yes. Look, I think just me, because I'm just kind of not a very trusting person anyway. <laughs> but, like, again, just this whole thing with China, I think we have to look at it a little deeper. And we have to look at it from, because the people who are talking about, like, you know, this pro-China sentiment are, you know, are people on the left who don't necessarily know the whole details or just hearing it, you know, within, you know, circle, certain circles, you know, or people, other people, you know, that might be reporting on it. And, and having been on the ground in Africa, that Africans may not necessarily share that sentiment in terms of the Chinese being in their countries. Okay. So, I just want to, I'm just saying that because, and again, I'm not the authority on this. I'm not the expert on this. The, the things that I'm saying are mostly anecdotal. But I do feel like we also have to kind of look at what Africans are saying and take their stories and taking their perspective into consideration, which we almost never do, and which is hard to get, you know? So... But I think especially on, you know, we kind of call this out, you know, mainstream media that often than not, they just have a bias of talking about one side and not multiple. We have to do the same thing on the left in terms of, you know, relations with China and Africa, because I kind of make the association as far as student loan debt. Like, if you take on that as a college student, and then if you have a job that you're able to pay it off um, within a short amount of time, then taking the, the loans was a good move for you, you know? So you can make that association with certain African countries, especially with the infrastructure that China is helping them build, if they have the means, if they're able to benefit from that, you know, make a profit out of that within their country, then great, you know, fine. But that's not always happening in certain countries, the, the, the infrastructure projects that China is initiating. Yeah. Um, well, know, that's how they that's got always, grandfathered that, into this deal, essentially, was that they, they, were, right. they were doing stuff. So, right. JB, anything to add? Yeah, that, that's also a really important point uh, to, you cannot, the continent and the land belongs to them. So they should have a say over what goes in and goes out. My question though would be, are the profits from the lithium sales that Zimbabwe oversees, are the entire population of Zimbabwe going to be seeing the profits? Right. Or is it going to just a small number of people? Because if that means that they're sharing the profits with all the population, then that sounds a lot like what people like Gaddafi was doing with the oil, uh, what Mohammed, I think I think it was Mohammed Mossadegh was doing with, yeah. with Iran, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. Uh, and so it sounds like what, Evil Morales wanted to do with Bolivia regarding their lithium. And so the United States will see that in companies who are utilize the lithium within their batteries would look at that and say, oh no, we're going to be in trouble because we won't be able to get this lithium for cheap like we used to mm -hmm. or for damn near, near, near free. So my question is, if they're doing it that way while distributing it, among all the the people or if that's what the people say they want then 
my fear is that the United States or any other type of Western entity is going to try to come in and undermine and destabilize Zimbabwe in order to get their hands on the lithium. Because it's just like the article said, lithium is the new gold. And really, I would go farther and say lithium might be the new oil. Yeah. Yeah. Because gold is really just a luxury it's not used in too many things industrially versus oil. Yeah. Yeah. But oil for the most part is more universally used as a resource. And so if we're replacing oil powered products with electric power products, then that lithium is going to have a value that's going to be commensurate with oil. Between that and water, we're going to have a tough time fighting over them. So, I mean, this is the global north versus the global south. And pretty much every resource, I mean, pick one, it's it's happening. So, um, but anyway, 